the way we used to factor our business model at the Toronto Star was 80% of our revenue came from advertising and 20% came from subscriptions. Um, to date, um, that had been quite successful for us. But in the last 15 years, with the uh, you know uh, multiplication of or the addition of Google and Meta and, and their ability to use our content to drive advertising, a great percentage of that 80% of revenue has gone. So what can be done about it? You've got Europe, which I believe is light years ahead of the rest of the world when it comes to regulating tech, whether it be on the revenue side or on the online harms and content moderation side. I strongly encourage a lot of you to look at what's going on there. Um, Australia, for me, was a real aha moment when um, their bargaining code was implemented and um, the tech platforms, um, despite all of their theatrics, inevitably uh, signed uh, lucrative content deals, which has not only allowed the Australian media industry to survive, but thrive, um, which means, uh, and as uh, icky as it may be for some journalists, um, you will, it, it allows people to pay your salaries and it allows you to invest in tech and things of that nature. Now we're up to almost four years of the Australian bargaining code being in effect. And I think we can safely say that the tech platforms in Australia uh, although begrudgingly, are um, continuing to hold up their end of the revenue deals. And, you know, I think that um, it has fundamentally at least stopped the bleeding in Australia and now starting to uh, make people think of journalism as a growing and thriving industry.